The following video shows how to um, factor quadratics. Again, on these, whenever you're factoring a quadratic, you're going to factor it into two binomials. So we usually start by writing two parentheses. And when there's just an x squared, we're just going to write the x and the x in, because we know that's your only option of multiplying two things together to get x squared, is x times x. But then we have to ask ourselves, well, what are the options of multiplying two things together to get 18? Well, 1 and 18, 3 and 6, 2 and 9. And those are always going to go in the last, um, the, the second part of a parentheses, either, either 1 and 18, either 3 or 6, or either 2 and 9. The second thing to figure out is, well, I want, what are my signs going to be like? Well, I need a negative 18, and so that only leaves me the option of having a plus and a minus. So a negative 2 and a positive 9. So on this one, I decided to try the 2 and the 9. I, I was just doing trial and error. Now, sometimes you can figure it out, and we'll talk about that in a second, in a more mathematical way. But in this case, we put in the negative 2, we put in the positive 9, we get a positive 7x, but we needed a negative 3x, and so that, that didn't work. So we've got to try something else. Well, if you look at the 6 and the 3 and, and how the negative 2x plus 9x work, they, they, they subtracted. Well, 6 minus 3 should give us the right thing. So negative 3x, a positive 6x, and that gives us a positive 3x, which um, is almost what we're looking for, but we, we need a negative 3x. Well, whenever you get the correct number, just the wrong sign, then you just switch the two numbers around. And instead of having x minus 3, we do x minus 6. Instead of x plus 6, we do x plus 3. And we know that now can be confident that is the correct answer. So when you multiply that out, that'll give you x squared minus 3x minus 18. For the other one, again, we start the same way. We put the x parentheses, x parentheses, um, because we know x times x is x squared. Now we've got to look at the 16. Well, the options for 16 are 16 times 1, 8 times 2, and, and 4 times 4. Well, just like in the last one, to get a negative 16, we've got to have a plus and a minus. And also, just like in the last one, um, we have to look at it and see, well, what, what number do we need in the middle? Well, we need the 6 in the middle. So if we look at these guys over here, you can kind of have an idea of which one might give you the 6. And that's going to give you 8 and the 2. And I put the 8 in with the negative because the 6 was negative. So I need the bigger number to be 6. And so this should work out. So negative 8 times x is negative 8x. x times 2 is a positive 2x. And so negative 8x plus 2x is our negative 6x, which is that middle term. So now we know confidently that x minus 8 times x plus 2 is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 16. So that is the factorization of that problem.